Okay, so this is uh, pretty much what the beans will look like once all done. I put them in the fridge or freezer right after so that I don't burn myself when I grab them. So they're still warm, but not hot, okay? Masa, and this is the coloring of what it should look like, the cheese, once you're all done, okay? You're going to also want a bowl of water. The water is going to keep it moist, and it's also going to keep it from sticking and falling apart. So first things first is you want to wet up your hands really nicely. Grab about, let's see. Um, you're gonna, it's gonna depend on how big you want to make them. I would say this is about what three inches in diameter, roughly. Sure. Okay. <laughs> anyway, two to three inches, maybe a little more. Um, my first ones always come out a little funky, just because it's my first ones. So um, you see how it's starting to get a little bit of a residue. Just go ahead and wet up your palms. Now I'm gonna show you two ways of doing the the actual flattening them out. Um, one is just the traditional way. Once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to do it that way. The other way is kind of a beginner way, and I'll show you that um, the next on the second one. So I get it in a nice round ball, like so, pretty much in my palm, nice one, and then I push down until I create what it, kind of like a bowl. Okay? Then don't be shy here on the ingredients. I get a nice handful and I push it in, push it down, okay? So now it's like this, so the bottom part is filled. You're gonna grab the beans, same thing, push it in, don't be shy, okay? And now it's gonna be like this, okay? Now go ahead and wet your hand again, wet your palm, and you're gonna start rotating it like this. So see how it's starting to close? Push it down a little, rotate, Close, rotate, rotate, rotate. As you keep rotating and pinching, if you start to feel this stick a little bit, go ahead and wet your hand again. Continue the rotation until you see it just about sealed, okay? As you can see, there's no broken edges here. That means the masa has plenty of water. So now you got a nice little round ball. So go ahead and make it nice and round and make sure it's clear. It's okay if it's a little bit showing, no biggie. Then as I do that, then I'm going to start pushing down on a side. See? Rotating. Make sure your hand is nice and wet or it's just going to, a chunk's going to fall off into your hand. It's okay if it does. Start again. Just kind of rotate. See? That's what I'm talking about. And it's okay if it does. Just wet it up a little bit and start moving the, the, um, the masa around until it seals that hole, okay? Now, if that happens, like that, if it keeps kind of breaking on you, that's okay. Bring it over to the griddle, put it down on the griddle, make sure the griddle's on. I had it on warm. And you can continue the pressing down from here, okay? So just kind of press it down, press it down. Okay, as you can see, like I said, my first ones aren't always perfect. Now, this cracking right here, if you see a lot of that, means the masa is still a little dry. Okay, um, so you'll want to add maybe a little water. But um, it's okay if it's a little bit. And you can always smooth it out with a little bit of water. So we'll go ahead and let that one cook. So that's, that's one way. And as you get the hang of it, you'll be able to fly pretty good and have it nice and round. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and leave that one there, and let's do it the other way where it's going to be a little easier to get that round, roundness. So do this again, grab this. Again, about three inches or so, nice handful. And um, again, the wetter your hands are, the easier it's going to be able to sculpt it and manipulate it, okay? Now sometimes when you're cooking it, the cheese will ooze out, that's okay, just kind of push it with the spatula back in. Um, and it uh, nice, makes a nice little crusty, crusty. So, okay, so cheese again. And the cheese is kind of causes some juiciness because of the bell pepper. So it won't, it's not a big deal if it kind of comes out. Now, if you have a pupusa, once you're done and test your first one, if you find that you have dry patches, in other words, you cut open to it, you cut it in half, and you see feeling on one side and 
maybe partial filling on the other side, that means you weren't putting enough ingredients. Okay, you're, you're being shy. And that's how it was for me. My first couple of batches were dry. So always have a little guinea pig. Try your first ones. Just a little bit of practice and you'll get it. Okay, so same way. We're still going to seal it the way we did before. Okay. Push that in. Ooh. I sometimes when it's a little thin back here, so I kind of manipulate some of the masa to kind of make it a little thicker there. Get it nice and moist and sealed up. Okay. Okay, now it's a nice, perfectly round bowl, ball, kind of flattened. We're going to put it on a saran wrap, or you can even cut a zip, large Ziploc bag both down the side and then leave um, the bottom part still connected. Bring this over. Make sure you leave yourself enough room so that when you smash it down, it's not a big deal. So then you just kind of slowly go all the way around. Okay? So there. See, this is more perfect. It looks like a restaurant style. It just, um, sometimes it's not as fast. So once you get a hang of it, you'll be able to do it much faster. And there you go. Like that. And like that. Ta-da! And in it goes. Okay, so then you just let it cook. And then we just grab a spatula. And we kind of check it. Still, I would say about Maybe about 10 minutes on each side. And uh, you're good to go. So depending on the size of your griddle, about two to three, or if you have one of the longer ones, you can fit about four, five, six, depending on, on the size you make them. Um, and then put them in some kind of container. If you have a tortilla warmer, that's really great because then it keeps them nice and hot. Um, but like I said, once you have... Um, made one, go ahead and cut it open half-wise to see if you've distributed enough. That'll tell you, okay, I need to add more ingredients or I'm not able to seal it, so maybe a little less or a little less of the masa. You'll have to gauge it, and again, it just takes practice. Okay, and once, we're, uh, once these are done, I'll show you what they'll look like once they're all done, and you're it. That's it.